Hi everyone, it's me, Nikki, and uh, today I'm doing a tag. This is the Mr. Francie Reads book tag. Uh, he created it. It's an original tag. Um, I'll make sure to link the original video and all 13 prompts down below. So, <clears throat> let's just get started. Uh, M is for magic. If you could have one magical ability you read about in a book, which would it be and what book did it come from? Um, I think, I don't know if this is a magical ability, but whatever Gandalf did to stop the Balrog from advancing at, in, uh, the Fellowship of the Ring, that would be cool. Because then if people are doing something, you can just say, you shall not pass, and, like, yeet them off into oblivion or something, you know? But I don't know if that's a magical ability or he was just, like fueled by rage or whatever um that's really the only thing i mean i've read a lot of books with magic but i can't think of anything else besides hp and we don't talk about hp in this house anymore um Next is R for rebinding. Do you have any books that need to be rebound or replaced owing to age and decay? I have um, this uh, old copy of Winnie the Pooh. This particular copy came out in um, Dusty, 1984. So it's a year older than me. Uh, I will not be replacing this just because it's special. Um, but yeah, it's got some problems right there. Um, it was only two fifty. Oh, geez. Well, but I think children's book costs more than that. Yikes! Inflation. Um, I also have some thrift, some books from thriftbooks.com that are pretty ragged um, because they're used books. Even sometimes if they're in, like, acceptable condition, they're not. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, and my mom has some very old copies of Poirot and Smarple that are pretty old and probably should be replaced because they're, like, you open it and it's just sort of falling apart. We, ugh, I don't know. She's had those forever, so I don't know if we'd get rid of those or just, like, try to replace them. Um, number three is first book. What is the first book you completed since beginning your booktube channel? Or if you don't have a booktube channel, what is the first book you read? Um, so I found the very first booktube video I posted. Excuse me. Um... in April 8th, 2019, and the first book I mentioned for the Magical Readathon, I think, uh, is what it was for, is, uh, the Dragon, is Dragon Champion by E.E. E. Knight. It's the first in a series, and that, I, I did read that, so that, I guess, would be technically the first book I finished. Um, at least for booktube, anyway. Number four is R for romance. Name two romance books you've read, one you enjoyed, and one you didn't. I don't really read just romance books. I have read some books that have romance in them, um, but I don't specifically go out seeking romance books. Um, I don't have the first book. Um, that's for later but I do have um girl this is the second in a trilogy and um the romance is between the two main girls and I thought it was actually really well done um considering I don't like romance <coughs> so yeah I liked it a lot and uh the one I didn't like I was talking, um, about this, who was I talking to, oh, um, uh, 
I know her name, but I want to get her channel right. Um, it's, she's Princess from Castle Library. Uh, she was talking about reading um, a book by an author uh, who it is a different series, but this author also wrote like a Jack the Ripper, not series, but the first book in the series was a Jack the Ripper book and it was a YA book. And I borrowed it from the library because I love Jack the Ripper. No, I don't love Jack the Ripper. Don't say that. But I'm interested and fascinated by that crime. I have like actual books by Ripperologists and stuff. So I was interested to see this YA take on it and it was not good. The romance, ugh, it was totally YA tropey romance. Like smart pretty girl meets a smart pretty guy but they hate each other and they bicker the whole time and then oh my god they're in love at the end it was not good i've maybe if that was like the first type of that book i had read but it wasn't and i think i've said this before if you are not beatrice and benedict from much ado about nothing or any like 30s 40s 50s romantic comedy don't bicker you're not good at it just don't do it it's always awful um so those are my options those are my answers um number five is a the first letter in the alphabet find a book that begins with the letter a that is on your bookshelf and show us as i'm sure you know i have books everywhere just not on my bookshelves um so i'm gonna try to find one here because i don't i'm lazy and i don't want to get up um uh, but i don't uh alphabetize them by title i alphabetize them by author so who knows i don't even know no let me check my Goodreads to see if I can find one. I should have done this ahead of time, but as we all know, that's boring. <sighs> oh, come on, Goodreads. You're so slow. I'm scared. Oh, there's this one. But... Mr. Francie did it as well. I want to see. Um, if I can't find one, I am picking um, A Darkness Forged in Fire. I feel like, why can't I get that? There we go. I feel like a lot of books that start with A usually is A, not like Apple or altitude or whatever um or if you have a start with a t it's always a the book um i'm sure i have more but uh i got adventures of or that the who knows um i do have a book let me see if i can find it It's called Absolution by Murder. Um, I It might be on a bookshelf. Um, but that's another one I have. Um, so, yeah. Those are the two that I can find. Uh, no, there we go. Um, N is next for Not For Me. Name the last book you DNF'd. I will also be talking about this in my wrap-up for November, but it was The Diviners, which I was sort of bummed about because I know a lot of my booktube friends really, really liked it, but I just, I couldn't get into it, and I'll explain more in my wrap-up. Um, okay. 
C is for cover. Show us a beautiful or not so beautiful book cover. So I'm going to get up for this one. I've shown you one already, but I'm going to show you both. Um, Girls of Paper and Fire and Girls of Shadow and Storm. Those covers look amazing. I really, I think this is just the regular edition, or this might be the Owl Crate edition, actually. Um, but there's an Aluma Crate edition of this one where it's more rainbowy. Oh, so gorgeous. But it was too expensive. And I don't know if this ever came in a special edition, but I do love this cover because it's blue. Because I'm shallow. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> we know how I feel about the color blue. There's also another one that is all blue and it has a dragon on it that I just thought was like gorgeous. Uh, but it's all the way over there and I'm not getting it. <laughs> Um, why you only live once name a book you want to read before you die I would like to read the poems of Sappho um, I know there are some out there they either no they've translated it all I think but they're missing a bunch of because it's like fragmentary, I would love to someday read like her entire collection of poems. Like they could find new ones and stuff like that. I don't know. I just think that would be cool. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, who else? Or what else would I love to read before I die? I'd also, excuse me, like to read um, some Alexander Dumas books. Like The Three Musketeers, Count of Monte Cristo, and Men in the Iron Mask. I did get a thrift book copy of Count of Monte Cristo, but it was the abridged. And I was like, no, unabridged or nothing. So, yes. Number nine is Rewind. Name a book or series that you would love to go back and read again. The first one that came to mind is, of course, I'm sure nobody's shocked. If you've ever watched my channel, um, the Roger the Chapman Medieval Mystery Series. There's 20-something <clears throat> books? I don't remember. But I've read them all. And um, they're really short. They're only like 20 chapters. Each book is only 20 chapters, which is really cool. Um, there are 22 books. And I would just love to read them again. I haven't because um, I have a lot of other books to read. And I did, I think if I read them again, I wouldn't, I bought them like all in batches. And then I just read them right after, one right after the other. But I think if I did it again, I wouldn't do that. Because by the time you get into like, um... Um, probably book 12 for me and then after that they sort of had the same like Roger meets a person Roger is duped by a woman <laughs> you know that type of thing and you're like Roger come on wise up but I do quite enjoy them so um, 10 is E for extras show us a novella you read that was connected to a series you loved um I don't think I have any novellas. I have uh, the Murderbot novella, but that's the first in a series. I have two of the Wayward Children book, not Wayward Children, the Every Heart of Doorway books. I have two of those. Yeah, Wayward Children. I got that. I get Wayward Children and 
the Miss Peregrine one mixed up. Um, so those are technically novellas, but they're not part, but they're all novellas, like even the future ones. Um, I mean, I have this book. I'll have to find that, whatever the f hell that was. Um, which I'll talk about in my wrap up as well, but it's a bunch of short stories. So they're not really novellas. Um, so I don't, this is the only one I can think of. I don't think, I actually like, um, I don't think you can get them in paper form. I think they're only ebooks. There's a couple novellas or short stories for the Expanse series, which I would actually really love to uh, read one day. Um, next is A for Abracadabra. Make this your own prompt. Tell us your favorite or least favorite genre and your favorite or least favorite book in that genre. I think I'll do both. Um, so my favorite genre is fantasy. And my favorite book, um, um, let me make sure it is fantasy before I say what I want to say. Um, and I don't know if it's like my favorite, but it is a favorite, um, if that makes any sense. I actually really enjoyed... Uh, the Mermaid, the Witch, and the Sea. I thought it was a really cool LGBTQI plus romance. I liked the um, the magic sort of system and the world building. And I'd actually really love more in the series to explain like some background of some characters. <sighs> But yeah, that was the one that I thought of. Um, I don't think I've got, I, I like all, almost all the fantasy books I've read. Um, But that was the first one I thought of. And I'd have to say my least favorite genre um, is contemporary. Like, I have some contemporary mysteries, which is fine for me because they're more mystery and you're con then contemporary. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I've even read a book in contemporary that wasn't a mystery. I'm not even sure what that genre is. It always seems like romance or something and I don't read that. Um, but yeah, I'm not a huge fan of contemporary. That, Like, real life is contemporary and that's a shit show so let me like delve into my fantasy sci-fi world. You know what I mean? Um, next is D for dust jacket. Take a just dust jacket off a book and show us how it looks without it. Um, this is the closest one. This is The Name of All Things by Jen Lyons. It is a sequel to The Ruin of Kings. Uh, and I think... There's three or four books out now in this series. It's a chorus of dragons. The series is called. Um, oh shit! There's five. I'm way behind. <laughs> um, so this is the dust jacket. It's got a nice. I think. Um, and here's the. The Ruin of Kings that has a dragon and the next couple have like an elephant, an octopus or what's supposed to be a fantasy octopus and then like a skull with a crown and I think they are um, 
symbols of the houses that are in the book. So I think that is a symbol of a house. Um, so let's take this off. It's just a normal black um, cover or whatever. Uh, there's no special pages on the inside, which is fine. I take dust jackets off when I read um, books with them because they're annoying as fuck to get around. But yeah, I don't think I have many that are fancy when you take the dust jacket off. Hello, fix. Okay. Uh, let me just put that back. Um, and I've lost it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Finally, uh, S. So who am I going to tag? This is where you tag people. Obviously, I'm going to tag Reed Becca, Rosie, um, Hey Y'all Listen Up, and, uh, Library of Alexandria? The Librarian of Alexandria. I got some of that right. So that's who I tag. Um, and then, of course, if anybody wants to do it, you can do it. No pressure. It's just a fun little tag. Uh, so, yeah, that's my video. Thank you to Mr. Francie for tagging me in this. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And I hope that you're having a great day. Goodbye.